Yo, Mexico Man Easy got one of the highest yield uh, board prep videos in the world right here. We're going to talk about the antibiotic known as vancomycin, high yield for boards, higher yield for life. Um, vancomycin is used all the time in hospitals, uh, all the time in clinics to treat gram positive infections. It, it hits just about everything. You know, we're starting to see the emergence of things like VRE where vanc can't hit it. Um, but at this point, vancomycin, especially IV, is used for all sorts of things. It's very high yield for boards for things like C. diff treatment. That's a big one along with flagyl or metronidazole. And the other one that's very big is MRSA. Um, very high yield. The way that vancomycin works, we'll start with mechanism of action, is it binds, this is very high yield, it binds this thing D, ALA, D, ALA. This is in the cell wall, and if it binds there, it prevents cell wall synthesis. So the bacteria can't, uh, you know, make its cell wall, it can't get any bigger, it can't proliferate, that sort of thing. Um, and when you bind to this, D, ALA, D, ALA, you essentially prevent these things known as NAM and NAG. And I know that, you know, some of the farm people are probably like, what? But... This is the big stuff you need to, you need to know uh, for boards. Those are the hot button topics. Diala, Diala, Nam, Nag. Um, because of this, because of this mechanism of action, it unfortunately only treats gram positives. So it will not hit any gram negatives. One of the big side effects of, uh, uh, or not, excuse me, downfalls of vancomycin. It's not a side effect. But now let's talk about the side effects because they're pretty notable and they are big on boards. Um, it is nephrotoxic, hurts the kidneys. It is ototoxic, hurts the ears. Uh, and lastly, this is probably the most high yield side effect, is something called red man syndrome. Um, also known as erythroderma. Uh, red man syndrome causes this flushing, especially if you give vanc too fast. It can cause um, this flushing. It's caused by this like non-specific mast cell degranulation. You don't really need to know that, know that, excuse me. What you do need to know is that it causes red man syndrome, unfortunately, but you can treat red man syndrome with antihistamines. Um, and that'll treat that red man syndrome. So there you have vancomycin. You know, you memorize what's on the board right here. You're going to get one or two questions right on uh, your board exam. So good luck.